I've been wanting to play this game since I started making videos. Since before I started making videos. This is one of the... When I... Ah! Whoa. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Uh, well, okay. Focus, focus. I have stuff to say. <laughs> so, so, this was one of my... Oh, gonna get some bullets. One of my, uh... One of my, uh... Uh, yeah, one of the games I wanted to, on my initial list of, of LP, potential LP titles, this was one of them. This is a, a game from my childhood, a childhood, I can speak, uh, Rolling Thunder for the NES. So, yeah, mostly because there are two sequels to this game that I've never played, and I want to play them, and I thought it would be fun to play them blind, you know, LP them blind, because that's what I do. So yeah, <laughs> this is a game from my childhood. It's a it's a lot more serious than the usual uh, Mario and even Metroid, those sorts of games. I mean, look, you're clearly a person clearly shooting other people. I mean, this is, this is pretty graphic. And then their bodies decay before your eyes. So, yeah, but I haven't played this game in so many years, and I've never beaten it. So I've, I'm pretty sure I've made it to the end never... I think that's a time bonus in here. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know what it is about old games and, and time requirements. I don't know. I, I think the programmers are so afraid of getting stuck in glitches or something. So yeah, we're gonna do um, one stage a day. Go back to that format, because this sort of game, I think that format is good, so this video is probably really short. But you, can, you can see that for yourself. I have no idea, of course. Uh, yeah, but so this is a game from my childhood. Much more serious than than all the other games from my chat. Whoa, whoa, guys coming in from mine. Um, I remember we sort of bought this, this guy's hard to hit. We bought this game on a whim, just just because of the cover art. If anybody hasn't watched, I'm gonna have to favorite now, Rinri's uh, video about classic gaming cover art. So you should, you should go check that out. But, uh, 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 stuff saying, yeah, so we just bought this game, it looked cool, so we bought it. Or I think my brother bought it. Uh, and yeah, it was it was a pretty good investment, I guess. <laughs> a lot of fun. Um, but but I always thought the main thing I remember. I don't really remember this game being so violent or so graphic or or so edgy or any of that stuff. The main thing I remember is that it's, it was just more more mature than than pretty much every other game I've ever played. You know, I, for example, the graphic style, you know, it doesn't, ah, there's, like, no detail on your character. I don't know his name, I don't know, I, I'm pretty sure he has a name. We're gonna call him Al. Al has no detail. I mean, he, he has black gloves and a white head that's barely, I'm not even gonna, I think that's arms ammo. Yeah, I'm not even gonna deal with these grenade guys. So... But that's not what mattered. What mattered was the proportions. He's, he has, you know, really long legs, like a person actually should have, <laughs> and uh, and pretty fluid movement and everything. And, and it all just it flows. That's that's the graphics of this game. They flow. So so I think that's what made me gave me that impression of. Surprised how much of this is just instinctive. I'm just going and gunning, you know. <laughs> you know but I I seem to recall. Where everybody is. <laughs> where, you know, one of these doors, yep. Oh, I forgot about him though. So, your health, the other thing that's really cool about this game, I'm, I'm not sure if I thought this was cool as a kid, but I sure do appreciate it looking back, is that uh, you have very limited health. This is, this is like, I, I remember, um, where did you come from? People have weird spawn rules in this game. I cannot... Ah, ah, I don't know! Grenade to the head! <laughs> oh, midpoint, okay. What was I saying? <laughs> Spawning, graphics, I don't remember. Health, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember, I remember when I first played Goldeneye. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. <laughs> we're, talk, we're just gonna, I'm just gonna talk about video games today. Apparently. Uh, let's just run to the end here. I don't need to deal with any of these guys. Um, oh, but that's the end of the level, isn't it? Eh, I guess I'll deal with a couple of them. Oh, there's a two-hit grenade guy. Ah, so yeah, the guys with goggles have two hit points, and the guys, the guys that just... Ouch! Shot me in the foot! 
the other guys, the guys just with hoods, have one hit point, apparently. And there are guys with three, too, later on. Three, too. Three as well, <laughs> later on in the game, but uh, let's not talk about that. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. So, hit points! <laughs> so, so, yeah, when I was playing Goldeneye with my brothers for the first time, I remember the way we had to play, they insisted, oh, there's a little stealth ninja spawn this time was uh, turn our health almost all the way down to make uh, make bullets matter. You know, we're getting shot by guns, they should kill, right? And and that memory, for some reason in my head, is linked to the memory of this game where you have two hit points, but bullets do two damage. Did I just get an extra life from points? Yeah, bullets do two damage. So some of the guys just try to punch you or jump into you, and that does one hit. And... The rest try to shoot you or grenade you, and that does two hits, <laughs> and, and you're dead. You get shot and you die, even if it's in the foot. So that was area one. Your sto story one? Oh, area three, story one. Nah. Anyway, we're gonna stop there. That that was basically the first level. And uh, yeah, so this has been Birch Door playing Rolling Thunder. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.